what he or she worships. If that God fulfills this four line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise, it's not a true God. Say he's Allah one and only. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we do reaction videos. Other than reaction videos, um, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny NJC 2.0. You can go there and enjoy the content that we've put out so far. And if you want to see a specific vlog, let us know there and we'll actually do it for you guys and on this channel as well if you want us to react to something let us know and we'll do it for you guys other than that we've got a patreon account so feel free to become a member it's called funny and jesse and um yeah we also have um a podcast where we post interest interesting conversations or at least something that we feel like we should give an opinion about or just something we feel like talking about and you can find us on itunes or podbean it's called funny and jesse it's called diving in with funny and jesse and yeah just enjoy the conversations there you can also find us on social media funny and jesse on instagram funny and jesse on facebook and we've got uh, one personal thing by the way i just started um uh, I just started a new vlog where I don't want to post things about poems. I, ha I do have two blogs now. One for poems and short stories and one is just going to be me, like getting personal with me. So I'll definitely put the link somewhere, either on community or post on the story or leave it in the description box. And you guys can just go there and just like, is it subscribe or like, whatever the case is, I'm, I'm yet to start posting. And yeah. So if I'm forgetting anything, you can find everything that I've mentioned in the description box below and just feel free to, keep, to click the links and just enjoy the stuff we're putting out there. A big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing, commenting, giving us the zoo to go on each and every day. You guys are the best and may you stay blessed. People that are subscribing, thank you. People that are commenting, thank you. People that are saying hi, thank you. People that are telling us where they're from, thank you. And for the people that are also... um giving us things to react to thank you very much from forgetting anything just know we're very very thankful so as you can tell from the title today i'll be reacting to a chinese asks why does why does not allah show himself in islam why doesn't allah show himself in islam so without wasting time let's get into the video rk53 communication engineering actually uh this is my uh, question from my friends and non-muslim uh, uh, she asked me this question, but I cannot answer it. <laughs> okay, uh, question is, why uh, Allah, uh, our God, not show itself like another region God? Like uh, she's a uh, God, uh, she is a uh, Chinese. Uh, she know the physical of their gods and she know about the power of their gods. So why... Uh, Allah not show itself. Thank you. Was asked a question that one of his non-Muslim friends, she asked him the question that why doesn't Allah, the God in Islam, show himself? Like in other religions, they can see God. Why don't you? Why can't we see the God of Allah in Islam? The reason in the reason is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam is the true Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he shows himself, you will not be able to live. He's so powerful. And the example we have in the Quran in Surah Taha, when Musa alayhi salam says, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see you. So Allah says, I will show my glimpse to the mountain. You look what happens to the mountain. So when Musa alayhi salam turns his head to the mountain, Allah shows his glimpse to the mountain and Musa alayhi salam faints. That is the power of Allah. He's so powerful that we human beings in this stage, we cannot see him. And the definition of Allah is given in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say it Allah one and only. Allah samad. Allah the absolute eternal. Lam yulad wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufu an ad. There's nothing like him in this world. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. 
So any other religious people say this is God, the moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he is not a true God. This is a four line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, any human being. Whichever God he or she worships, if that God fulfills this four line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise, it's not a true God. Say is Allah one and only? Allah the absolute and eternal? He begets not noise begotten? And let me ask you a question. Which is the highest reward that you can think you can get, brother? Where is the questioner? Where is the questioner gone? Can you stand, brother? Yes, correct, yes. I am right. You are, I am correct. Brother, which is the highest reward you can get? Highest reward that a Muslim can get? Jannah. Right? Is there anything higher than Jannah? No. Yes? Someone said yes? Yes? Is there anything higher than Jannah? I think there was hadith that... Just tell the answer. No. Is there anything higher than Jannah? Yes. So tell. What is it? Uh, seeing Allah, uh, the Jannah. Higher than Jannah is Jannah the Firdos. Higher than Jannah the Firdos is Jannah the Firdos Allah. And the highest is seeing the face of Allah, the Vaj of Allah. We as human beings cannot see the Vaj, the face of Allah in this form. But when we go to Jannah, everyone in Jannah will not see the face of Allah. Only those who are in Jannah the Firdos or Jannah the Firdos or Allah, close to the Prophet, Allah will not show his face always. We would urge, we would desire to see his face. So the highest reward that any Muslim or any human being can get, Jannah is a high reward but not the highest. Then the field is high but not highest. It is seeing the face of Allah, the Vaj of Allah. So tell your non-Muslim friend that if they follow the criteria of Surah Al-Asr, have Iman, have righteous deed, exhort people to truth, exhort people to perseverance, she will go to Jannah, inshallah. But she has to follow the rules of the Quran. And if she goes to Quran, if she goes to the higher level of Jannah, if she enters, she'll be able to see the face of Jannah. Eh, we'll be able to see the face of Allah. Every human being will not see only those who receive the highest award in the next life, in the year after. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brother, do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Ah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. We pray to Allah that may put all of us in Jannah, in Jannah the Firdos, in Jannah the Firdos of Allah. And we see the face of Allah, inshallah. Very interesting video. Um, I like the way you answered because then, how can we see someone who's of a different form? We're able to see each other because we occupy this flesh. But then, when we die, it's like, not it's like our souls do leave these bodies. That's why we're able to see um, maybe prophets, maybe whatever the case is. But then I've never actually wanted to see God because I know he's of a different from different form than us. At the end of the day, even if today you and I find ourselves in heaven, I don't think we'll be able to see God. Just like the story of Adam and Eve, I don't think they were able to see God, but they could hear him and feel him. I guess you can feel when, you know how you have that instinct, instinct when something is happening behind your back. I feel like that's what was going on. Otherwise, this was, I always say I enjoy such things because people come with the best questions. Some things that we haven't even thought of. So this opens up our mind. And because we're curious, or at least some of us are curious, we're going to um, look into such videos and find this doesn't trigger you to look into such things. Then and then I just don't know. Otherwise, it's up to you and I. Otherwise, this was a great video. Let me know what you guys think. 
Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.